Hi, this is Marcia Jeans, Instructional Technology Specialist. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a recorder in Smart Notebook 10.0. Now, I don't want you to get the recorder confused with page recording. They actually do a couple different things. The recorder allows you to record your audio as well as what's going on on the screen. It can be used for a variety of things such as screencasts, similar to what I'm doing right now. Um, you can record some of your lessons and you can even have students use it as well. So it's really easy to get started with the recorder. You're going to click on the Smart Notebook icon in your system tray down on the right hand side and click on Recorder. The Smart Recorder menu will appear. Um, let's look at, before we get started on it, let's look at some of the options in the menu. The one that I would like to look at is the video format. You can actually record in three types of video formats. You can record in a Windows Media video file. That's my preferred method. It creates a pretty decent um, quality video, but the file sizes aren't huge. You can also record in a Smart Recorder video, which is an AVI file, which gives you a really pretty good um, quality, but the file sizes are a lot bigger. And then, of course, your last choice is a flash video file. The main advantage of flash video is that you can insert that directly onto a page in Smart Notebook, whereas the other two, you would have to actually um, put them in the Attachments tab. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the Windows Media file format for my default. Um, the red circle is what you would press when you get ready to record. There's a couple options. You can, it will automatically default to record your desktop, but if you want to, you could just record an area or a window. The next button is the pause button, and then the next button after that is the stop button. So let's go ahead and press it. And notice right here, we have got it um, recording whatever I'm saying on the screen. If I decide to go out of Smart Notebook, it's still going to record what's happening on my screen. So you can actually use it for any application that you would like. The only disadvantage right now is that it's actually showing this big um, window in the recording. I'll show you how you can get rid of that here in a minute. If you ever need to pause, you can pause it right here, or if you're done, you can go ahead and hit stop. When you hit stop, it will give your file a um, date and time stamp on it. So it gives it has February 8th, and the time is 7.51. So I'm going to go ahead and save that on my desktop, and then I'll play it back for you in just a second. It may take a few minutes, depending on your file size, um, to go ahead and complete the video and this video will be able to play in either uh, Windows Media Player or in Smart Player. Now I'm going to go ahead and play that recording for you and you can kind of see what it looks like. We won't watch it all, we'll just watch a little bit of it. So in just a second it will be popping up and notice that it is playing in um, Smart, it's playing in Windows Media Player. And I've muted it so you can't hear it. And there's a little bit more. It goes back there. So there you go. Voila. Pretty cool, huh? Now, let's say that you did not want to have that, that little window showing while you're recording. There is an option where you can hide this to the system tray. And that's what I would recommend because you really don't want that showing or right in the middle of your recording. Now, let me show you another option that you might have. Um, you can have students create their own stories or content usually using Smart Notebook software and the recorder. Let me show you an example of a, some student work that I think that you will find very, very interesting. So, Once upon a time, there was a shark. This student right here created this in Smart Notebook, and then the student recorded their voice and went through the notebook file. So Once I'm going to go ahead. Once upon a time, there was a shark. He was angry because another shark stole his fish. Then he was sad because he thought he could never catch a fish again. 
And until he tried, he ran, he jumped, and splashed. He was so excited, he started to do the disco. Okay, so you can see, I, we didn't watch the whole thing, but you can definitely get some ideas of how you might be able to use the, the recorder for your educational purposes. If I wanted to do any attachments, I could come over to the Attachments tab, and then I could insert a um, copy of the file, and I know that I've got these on my desktop, and there's the Windows Media file that we created, and I can click that, and if I wanted to, I could just have that right there in the attachments and use it that way as well. So, that is a recorder, and it's very easy to use, and I hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you next time.